Hey, OKCPS okay, team and family. My name is Autumn Browning, and I'm here to explain the English 2 Week 3 continuing learning plans for you. I'm going to share my screen, and we're going to just jump right in and get started. Once you go ahead and you open the OKCPS okay, website up and you find the continuing learning page, you'll get directed to the individual classes that your child or your student is taking. Once you click on English 2, you'll be open to a page that looks something like this. Just like last week, we want you to be doing one reading and one writing activity every single day. In addition, we want you to be doing one to two vocabulary activities, one to two research and test prep activities, and one to two multimodal and speaking and listening activities per week. Similar to last week's structure, you have a couple different options for your reading activities. The first option is a News ELA article. Once you open News ELA, you'll be pulled to a site like this. I just clicked on News to get here. Once I click on the article that seems interesting to me and I read the article, I'll click on this little tab to the right that says Activities. Once the activity screen goes ahead and opens, it'll give you options for different writing and multiple choice test questions. If you were not able to access the internet, you do have the option of the paper packet, and the paper packet does have a pre-selected article for you. That article is Bubble Tea is Blowing Up. Again, you'll read the article, and then there's a series of questions at the end. The other reading activities that you have this week are to spend at least 20 minutes reading something of your choice. This can be found from the Metropolitan Library System, a book, a magazine, a comic book. It's really up to you. Once you log on to the Metropolitan Library System, you can look at one card and one card gives you step by step directions on how to use your school information to have access to the whole Metropolitan Library System. If you click find, you'll be able to go ahead and look up any book by genre. You can do again comic books, ebooks, audiobooks movies, magazines, TVs. There's a lot of streaming services on here. It's a really great resource. The other uh, reading options that you have for this week are to really think about uh, fear and anxiety, especially given this time. There's an article from Common Lit called The Complexity of Fear. It'll look something like this once you open up that site. The Complexity of Fear, you have a couple guiding and assessment as well as discussion questions when you're finished reading. One feature I love about Common Lit is that you have uh, annotation tools and so you can actually highlight and mark up your text as you're reading just like you would with a paper copy. Another Common Lit article that you do have this week is that scientists reveal three keys to happiness. This article, again, is a common lit article. Once you're finished reading the whole article, you can do your guiding assessment and discussion questions over to the right. Lastly, when we talk about our writing prompts, again, you have the option of completing writing prompts from this uh, blog page, just like you did last week. We encourage you to try to write at least a full page. If you don't want to use one of these, you can do a pre-selected writing prompt that looks like one of these. Other options for writing this week include writing a summary of what you read during the day. And when you're done writing your summary, we're trying to increase our stamina with writing. And so we are asking you to write two different paragraphs, one being summary and one being opinion. The next topic you can write about is fear. And you can talk about how fear can be a positive and negative emotion and explain how fear and anxiety are affecting our society today. And kind of respond to the phrase, face your fears, analyze what it means to you. And lastly, you can write about what makes you truly happy. You can describe one of the happiest moments in your life so far, or you can describe what would happen at that moment. The next thing that we have is our vocabulary activities. Just like last week, you are asked to go ahead and look at the 100 words that every high school graduate should know. Um, you know, we're not asking you to do all 100 words in a week's time. So this is a long-term learning process for you. Choose some new words that you haven't learned this week. Again, you can practice, you can use your spelling bee or do the vocabulary jam activities. You also have the option of choosing five vocabulary words and completing this graphic organizer on them. Another uh, vocabulary activity that you can do is completing a four square or a frere model form on the word fear. 
Next, you can also find four new words from what you've read during the day, and you can write down those words and their meaning. Use each word five times in conversation and check off each word every time that you have used it. Remember, the more that we put our time and attention to practicing vocabulary, the easier the words will come to us. The next activities you can do are your research and test prep activities. Remember, we're asking you to do one to two of those per week. Uh, once you, you should already have an account with ACT Academy, and if you don't, you can sign up. Once you're logged into ACT Academy and you click on the dashboard, you have four different options of different tests that you can take that are directly aligned to the ACT. So if I was going to practice some English work for the week, I would click this, and you'll even see that it breaks down even further into the subcategories that are tested on the ACT. So if I'm looking at the conventions of standard English, I'll click on one of these um, and it'll open up a test specifically about this topic. The next option that I have is to practice summarizing and paraphrasing and then drawing inferences based upon what I read. The directions are really clear right on this document. Again, I can also go back to our thematic topic for the week and research what fear does to individuals' brains and bodies. And we can look about why it's important for people to understand their fear and what causes fear in general. Um, another research option that I have is researching to find books and short stories that have the theme of happiness. And if the actual text isn't available, then try to read a summary. And answer the question, what do most people associate with the theme of happiness? Your last uh, activities for the week are your, your multimodal and speaking and listening activities. So you are going to try to listen to two podcasts and make a Venn diagram that compares and contrasts the two. So once you log on to your uh, excuse me, once you access the podcast link in that site, you can go down. Again, there's a ton of awesome podcasts. Feel free to scroll. If you found one that you liked last week, you can stick with that or you can choose something new. And then we're asking you to compare and contrast them using this Venn diagram. The last thing that we're asking you to do is watch a TED Talk about fear and create a collage of images, words, and or pictures that explain your artistic representation of this topic. So the TED Talk looks just like this. Um, often TED Talks have transcripts in different languages too, so they're really accessible. And you can also create a meme that depicts a picture or uh, depicts the person that you read about during your lesson. And movies, music, and other types of entertainment can bring people lots of joy. You can also analyze your favorite types of entertainment and spend a few minutes watching, listening, or being entertained and think about why that brings you happiness. Uh, this is your directions for your week, two, week three English two work. Please know we miss you and we're here to support you. Contact your teachers if you have any additional questions. We love you, OKCPS. Okay,